Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Pack one, pick one. Yeah, Shadow Skull's Charger's pretty strong. Don't mind taking it. Uh, what else do we have? Fortification in green. And then, yeah, the rest of the pack's kind of unexciting. Grasp is fine, Ambusher's fine, Visionary's okay. But I'll take a Charger. On the inversion, not the best combo with a Shadow Skull Charger. This is going to be at its best in like a red-black aggressive party deck, or maybe a blue-red kicker deck. What else do we have? I guess Plunder could still be okay in a blue-red deck. Maybe like blue-red party with maybe a bit of kicker synergy. Not going to be great in red-green. Although we could still take a speculative horn beetle. Not a huge fan of the Hellhound. Yeah, I'll just take a plunder. Now I could be persuaded to take a Vine Gecko. And then we could be Blue Green Kicker, Red Green kind of Landfall Kicker. Or the third option. Yeah, there's no blue card I'm like super thrilled to take here. Diviner is okay, but we can probably get more later. Could also take War Leader and pivot into Red White, but that limits our options. By taking Gecko, we can end up in three different decks. By taking War Leader, we're either saying Red, White, or Blue Red, whereas Gecko keeps open a few more possibilities. And Gecko is still a very good card as well. All right, so now we open another Plunder. So I can just take that. Can take a Scythe Cat, which, you know, can be fine if we end up with a couple Landfall Synergies. Don't love anything else, really. Two Plunders. We have to be careful that we don't end up with too much do-nothing card draw. But if we have, like, two Plunders and then the rest of our curve is pretty low, that should still be okay. Hmm, this pack is not that great for our current color combinations. Probably want to just take Shelter at this point. Or Feed the Swarm. I do like the blue-black party deck quite a bit, so I could see like Double Plunder, some cheap party creatures, Feed the Swarm. Shelter pulls us into a different direction. Could maybe be a blue-white party deck. Yeah, there's just no other cards I want. Like, Tazim Raptor's okay too, but I think I'm taking Shelter over it. So it's Swarm for Blue-Black, or Shelter for Blue-White, maybe Red-White. I'll take Feed. There's a good chance we never end up playing Feed the Swarm, and that's okay. So we've got a few different cards here. We'll see where we end up. Yeah, we're not getting any clear direction just yet. All right, I guess now I like the Expedition Diviner. Kaza for blue-red wizards is kind of like medium, I guess. I mean, we could still take Kaza and, and the blue-red. But Diviner keeps the option of a blue-black party deck open, as well as blue-green kicker, or a blue-red kicker still. Just a bit more flexible here, I think. Once we end up with more party synergies, we can also consider Pack Beasts. Alright, that's, I think, a pretty clear signal here. Seventh Pick Blood Priest. This card's amazing in the party archetype. And that can let us pivot into Blue Black. I think it's better than Diviner. Bug Catcher is also consideration for a Blue Rat party. Which is definitely fine too. But I've had better experiences with Blue Black than Blue Red Party. Because Blue Red Party often ends up being a little bit too skewed towards wizards and you end up missing a few creature types. And, you know, one of Silencer can be a fine curve topper in the deck. So, probably gonna abandon some of our earlier picks, but that's okay. Can still pivot back if we open something amazing. 
but that's now two drafts in a row where after the first pack we don't have a clear idea of which two colors we're gonna play and we're gonna let the next pack determine where we end up which you know is it's not gonna lead to the best decks because you're gonna waste a few picks but at least we're gonna end up with a playable deck at the end of it here I'm really not interested in Dreadworm, just taking Fortification as the best card on the off chance that we pivot back into green with a Vine Gecko. Surprise Relic Vial still here. Probably not going to play two Drana Silencers, even if we end up blue-black. Um, but then again, I'm also very far from being a black-white Clerics deck, so I don't really mind sending this to someone else. Yeah, I'll just cut off black here. Alright. Cleric of Chill Depths gives us a 2-mana Cleric, which, you know, outside of the Blood Priest, there's not that many Clerics in blue-black. So it's a fine curve filler, even if it's not exciting. So I've got a bit of removal with Feed the Swarm, a bit of card draw with Plunder, and then some creatures to round out our curve. Alright, we open a nice one here with Null Priest of Oblivion, 2 mana Cleric, with a nice kicker ability in the late game. Next best card in the pack. I mean, you could argue that Rebuke is better than Null Priest, they're both awesome, but uh, those are definitely the two contenders. And given our previous picks, I think Null Priest makes a little bit more sense. I mean, we could still potentially end up red here, but then we would be giving up a few too many picks, maybe. Yeah, hopefully we can cut a few of the Cleric of Chill Depths. Now that we have Blood Priest and Null Priest as additional Clerics, I can probably cut at least one of the Clerics of Chill Depths. So we want to see some more Wizards in blue. There's not too many Warriors in blue-black, but there's a few. Alright, this is a nice pack for us. Umara Wizard is great as a dual face card. Although I don't know if I can take it over Windrider Wizard, which just does an awesome job of sculpting our draw and provides a nice evasive flyer as well. And then there's a small chance we can wheel Tazim Royal Mage. And we don't have many 3-drops at the moment, so it fits our curve a little bit better. And then I can take a Deadly Alliance as a great removal spell. After Alliance I think I would have taken probably the Wind Robber, just to have a cheap Rogue. And then Field Research. And then afterwards, maybe Seagate Colossus. It's also a pretty late Royal Eruption, so... Blue-Red also could have worked out, given how the packs broke down. Alright, what's next? I've got a bunch of Reds, Black Party stuff. Probably just looking at Sulapur Duelist as a cheap rogue. Probably better than Mind Drain in this deck. So in terms of creature types, we're missing Warrior at the moment. Got a bit of everything else. Easy into the Royal, great interactive spell. Stalker would also be a nice one in this type of deck to help us close. So we've got two good removal spells in black, into the Royal in blue. Could use a bit more removal in black maybe, like a Vanquish the Week would be nice. And then... Of course, more creatures to fill out our party. This bank doesn't have much that we want. Already have two Skyclave Plunder, so I doubt I'm playing a Blood Price in this deck. Small chance I play Squid, but given that it doesn't have a relevant creature type, it's unlikely to make the final cuts. But I guess just in case. And oof, those are some pretty late white removal spells, but haven't seen much whites besides maybe a couple raptors. Probably just taking the pack beast here to round out our party, give us a warrior if we need a warrior. So, as far as party types goes, we're doing okay. There's another feed this swarm, 
not as good as it would be in black whites where you've got more life gain but hopefully we pick up another Malakir Blood Priest to offset the life loss from Feed the Swarm. And then I've got a lot of cheap stuff here, so I wouldn't mind picking up some 3 and 4 mana creatures to make our curve look a bit better. A lot of Drana Silencers, don't really need more of those. Small chance I want to sneak, it is technically a rogue even though it looks like a giant insect. And I really don't want any of these. How many kicker spells do I have? Like one or two? I don't know, maybe we'll need Riptide as a curve filler. But it doesn't seem great here. So, so far the draft's not going great. Need a bit of help in pack three to round out our deck. Alright, well, I'll take another Deadly Alliance. Probably not gonna wield the Royal Mage, but that would be the ideal outcome there. Well, there's no cards I want in this pack, so I guess I'll take the Nissa. Splashing Nissa is gonna be difficult. Maybe if I had taken that two mana enchantment in black, it could have been feasible. But I'll just take the Mythic Rare. I don't even think I have four Nissas yet. Oh, I do. Oh well, still a couple gems. Yeah, we do have a Pack Beast for fixing. It's pretty bad fixing, but maybe take a Soul Shatter over Thirst. That seems fine. There's also Blood Priest and Pack Beast, so this pack is pretty stacked. This deck would even consider playing the Highborn Vampire just as a 4-mana warrior. So there's a decent chance we wheel something out of this pack too. Uh, this pack's pretty disappointing. Yeah, there's just no way I'm pivoting back into green. Probably just a mind drain then. Yeah, this is not going great. Seen a couple maces. White has seemed pretty open, but like we had a couple packs with like two white cards in it and then nothing else. Take Sentinel, which we can cast in any deck. Yeah, the packs overall have been kind of on the weak side. So it's possible that everyone in this draft is just going to end up with a below average deck, but of course you don't play against the same people you draft with, so that doesn't help me very much. Cascade Seer is good here, so that's a nice pickup. Alright, very happy with another Blood Priest. Could have had triple vial, although haven't seen a ton of the cleric synergies outside of vial. How many wizards do I have? Three. Probably not enough for chilling trap to be good. Doubt I'm playing mind carver though. All right. So vampire versus rebirth. I honestly think it might be Vampire. Yeah. Gives us a warrior for our party. Nice wield the Blood Priest. I can take it over Vampire now. So there's no lack of clerics, can probably cut Cleric of Chill Depths now. This is 23. It's not the best collection of cards. But we've got creatures, a bit of interaction, a bit of card draw. And then probably just playing two silencers at the top ends. I might cut the sneak. So I need to add one more card to the deck. Maybe Dreadworm. So 
So what do I have in terms of effects that mill the opponents? Mind Rain mills them for three essentially, if they have two cards in hand. And then we've got a bit of spot removal. So how likely is a sneak to be turned on? Not very. Duelist can also mill for two. Although in some matchups a 3-4 is better than a 4-3 anyway. Let's take a look at our creature types. Three wizards, one warrior, three rogue, four cleric. Yeah, cleric of chill depths doesn't seem needed. Looking at the curve, I guess I can just add another sneak. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Yeah, the silencers do look pretty decent in the deck at least. We'll regularly deal minus three, minus three. And then we can save these other removal spells for bigger stuff. Yeah, if we can get like four wins, five wins maybe. If we draw well and don't face too many bombs, that should be feasible. And then do we want 9, 8? I think so. Don't have a ton of double black or double blue, so a single of each color should get us pretty far. Definitely into playing Null Priest turn 2. Sadly, we drew 3-4 drops and don't get to curve out here. Can maybe bounce something with Royal. Missing double blue to kick it. Interesting. I mean, I can bounce the enchantment itself, but I can bounce a land. So that's a little awkward, but I guess Vampire just trades for it anyway. Yeah, I'll hold my Royal for now. Can maybe bounce Taborax once he picks up a few more counters. Yeah, so Feed the Swarm is a great answer to Nissa Zanikon. Alright, scale the heights so they can attack past my vampire. I mean, I could just draw a bunch of cards here. Going at 12 or at 17. Is that gonna set me back too far? The fact that we have Into the Royal as a cheap tempo play to bounce this could be pretty nice, but they get to keep the counter on the land still. And if we find Feed the Swarm, that would be great. I think that's okay. Alright, Deadly Alliance, land, and Pack Beast. My issue with playing the Cascades here or the Diviners is that they just don't have any great blocks. I guess Diviner could jump in front of Tabaranx, but I don't know. Just want to dig for my removal spells to get rid of this Zendikon. Could have also maybe found Land plus the uh, six mana Silencer to kill Tabaranx, which would have been fine. The lifelink on Null Priest has definitely done a lot of work. Hello, Silencer. 
So, Rogue, Cleric, Warrior. Seems good. Next turn I get to complete my party for a 1 mana Deadly Alliance. Might just be able to kill my opponent here. Bounce one creature, kill the other. Alright, sweet. Bit of a slow draw, but we're on the play. Do have a lot of two drops we could draw. And if we don't draw a two drop, we're probably drawing a land. a very aggressive use of the duelist here. Could double block the Stinger. Now that's a lot less appealing. And I guess they will mess up my Scry here. Could play kicked into the royal main phase to try and hit my land drop. Although that would let them move the mind carvers, I think I wait. Just want to tap the duelists. Could also bounce the mind carver itself. I think I'd rather bounce the creature here. All right. Sadly, didn't draw land. Really want to avoid trading off my party here. When we have silencer plunder. Yeah, double plunder is kind of awkward with uh, missing land drops. All right, finally. Kill infiltrator, keep up alliance. Make sure we don't fall too far behind on board. And then next turn I can start drawing cards.
Probably just gonna kill the Stinger, but I'll let them tap a creature first. It's not many tricks that punish me. If they have the one mana black instant, the creature still removed from combat. And this might bait out another trick, you never know. Alright, you can have one plunder. Well, this is going to be pretty sweet. Definitely want lands, and then just take two removal spells, probably. And then next turn I can play... Null Priest with Kicker, getting back Silencer. And that's going to be a Massacre. I'll take four. Don't really want to trade off creatures when I have three removal spells in hand, basically. Opponent doesn't have a wizard, at least. Blood Priest would also be fine here. This form only costs one life to kill duelists. And I can have Deadly Alliance at instant speed. Ah, oh, I wanted to win by casting a Mind Drain. Double planes, red whites.
Well, I'm sad I didn't hold my soul shatter now. Nah, that still works. Maybe I used the wrong approach. Just killed the token, hope to trade for champion, don't want to fall too far behind on board. They haven't had a great chance to use removal yet, so... Could see removal on silencer, but... That worked out. I guess I can take three. So next turn, if my silencer is still alive, I could play Seer plus Deadly Alliance. I guess now I'm down to also just trade for Electromancer. Should have tapped differently to keep up double blue, but the plan here is to deadly alliance in response to the vanguard trigger. Hmm, that's no longer gonna work. Alright, fine. So, still probably just killing Captain. Might be playing around like two removal spells for warriors, which is fine. Hmm. That's gonna be good. So we've got Cleric, Wizard, Rogue. Do I just kill Champion here? Yeah, probably. I could even bounce my own Null Priest to do it again. So three warriors. Alright, so I can bounce my Null Priest and next turn get back Silencer again. And that should be able to kill the War Leader. That's a good one too. And that's a good one too.
They still have the sneaking guide bug catcher combo, so you know. Still kinda scary, but pretty far ahead at this point. Oh boy. GG's. Blank green counters is not an archetype you see very often. So if you encounter it at four wins, it's probably a pretty good version. Generally don't want to trade away my party types if I can help it. Blood price, sure. Do I soul shatter here? I would really like to draw fourth land. I do have a deadly alliance. Still feels like a bit of a waste. That's rough. Yeah, I'll just sit back and an end of turn soul shatter, I think. Cobra, okay. Not a great turn for me here. Would much rather soul shatter something bigger, but gotta do what you've gotta do. Probably want to cascade here and look for a land here. So my opponent might be saving some creatures with plus one counters to get back Skeleton, which is pretty annoying here. I think I just want to add another creature to the board. They've got five cards. If Vampire survives and we draw land, we can maybe give minus two, minus two somewhere.
All right. So if I feed the swarm, that doesn't work because then I would be taking three down to five and this kills me. So I gotta alliance the sentinel hit for four. And then if I go to three, I can still feed killing the skeleton. And we did get rid of the plus one counter creature, which we suspected they had in hand. So hopefully they don't have another one. Let's see for that to a pump spell. Ooh. Well, we're not the only ones with an old priest in our deck. Can get back. Nothing too amazing, but they don't need much here to get across the finish line. Down to three we go. Alright, so we can play Silencer. Kill Null Priest, attack. What's the alternative? Yeah, the alternative's not great. Could also feed the Swarm Skeleton. Go to one. I'm dead if they can put counter on Sentinel. And then I can also play Sneak to double block Null Priest. I'm also still dead to removal. If I play Silencer, I can either stay back to double block or attack to put him to two, but then I also die to removal. I don't know. I think I just want a Silencer here. They do have a card in hand. Maybe another Solo Strike, which would turn Sentinel into a flying creature to kill me. Or a flying attacker, I should say. That would also make this attack extra bad. But, I mean, I'm dead to a solo strike anyway at this point. So I think I attack. Yeah, I think that's GG. Oh, whoops. I guess it was hunger instead of subtle strike. So I'm not that on board, at least. And can't quite feed the swarm the sentinel, but I can feed the swarm the skeleton. I didn't mean to BM my opponent there, I honestly thought it was dead to a subtle strike, but yeah, Oblivion's Hunger. Might be the first time I've seen that card cast Unlimited, to be honest, but the black-green counters deck is where this card would be okay. Alright. On the draw. Yeah, I think I'll keep. I mean, we obviously need a couple lands, but Null Priest does a good job of gaining a bit of life back in the early turns. That's a very efficient turn for my opponents. Um, do I want to trade? Problem is, if I attack and they double block, even if I duelists, I would still lose my null priests. Suppose I could null priest and into the ro or a uh, duelist and into the royal, which I guess would be a decent exchange. So I think I take it. That also works. Probably killing the wizard. The funny thing is, I kind of wish Null Priest didn't have Menace in this instance.
they've got another wizard. So Duelist is perfect for ambushing Fisher Wizard, or maybe we can cast it if the uh, Null Priest attacks. My opponent probably suspects I have Duelist at this point, since we've kept priority with a single blue mana for what seems like a million turns. Ooh, Akiri. That's a good one. Now they don't have the white mana to make it indestructible, so I can still trade here, force them to re-equip. And then probably just keep up my bounce spell if I attack with null priests. It's not great for me. And then I'm either bouncing Akiri or the creature they equip. Akiri stays back. So now I'm kind of into... Just dualist the wizard and block with Null Priests. And then I'm not quite sure if I want to bounce anything right now. Don't think I do. Oh man, I really need a couple lands here. Don't think I can afford to keep up or to tap out for Vampire. Just gotta keep up Royal. Wow, Mall of the Skyclaves and Akiri must be nice. So gotta bounce the bug catcher. So I'm probably forced to play Blood Priest just so I don't die, and then I gotta draw land for silencer to turn after can't really afford to plunder here at least the silencer gets around the indestructible from akiri could even try to attack with null priests because they can give their creatures flying anyway so i'll play null priest and i have two clerics now anyway so don't need the creature type for silencer and this guarantees that I at least gain two. Although I might still be dead here. I've got Rogue, Cleric, Rogue, so it's only minus two, minus two, so it's enough to kill Buck Catcher. Null Priest can attack, gain two up to five, but I'm still dead to protect her. Don't know if there's anything I can do here. Plunder leaves me one mana. Yeah, close. The flying equipment are pretty good in this particular spots where we kind of wanted to chump or trade with our silencers. All right, I think this time around it's actually GG.
All right, so we're on the play. This hand's pretty bad. This hand's also pretty medium, but I guess we'll keep. Probably get rid of Vampire here, since we've got Cascade Seer at 4. And then Silencer maybe gives us a removal spell at 6 eventually. And I think I prefer 4 lands. Because our deck does have some expensive cards with uh, two 5 mana draw spells. Most of the games we lost or were close to losing was due to being stuck on 3 or 4 lands. Hang on to the Sentinel for now. Uh, I guess now I can play Sneak. I'm not in a hurry to find land 5. Because we don't have any 5 mana plays, so might as well get Scry 2 instead of Scry 1. Opponent maybe holding into the Royal. Deciding whether they want to play it. Alright, Construct is pretty good. Now do I want to play Cascades here to Scry? Probably. Well, we are in trouble. Can maybe leverage Duelist if they try and remove one of my two creatures. Alright, that was a decent trade. Still facing a Falconer. But next turn I can maybe play Kicked Sentinel. We've got Wizard Rogue. So this is only going to be minus two, minus two. I would rather hold Sentinel to play Kicked as opposed to trying to double block Falconer, because then if they have a single removal spell, it looks pretty bad for me. Well, the Geyser Mage is going to be bad too. I can kill the Paragon. No real point in playing a Kate Sentinel when they can just bounce it. So might as well play Silencer this turn. Then I guess I'll hold lands in case I need to discard it to the Wind Rider somehow. Uh. 
So opponent holding on to the Geyser Mage is bad for me. Hmm, so plunder. Plunder makes me regret holding my lands. Let's see, I have Wizard and Rogue in play. So I wouldn't be able to draw into any removal spell that can kill Falconer. Uh, besides into the Royal to bounce it. If I just play Sentinel with Kicker, I can Chumblock with my Wizards to survive, but it's also kind of an ugly play. So I can either Plunder, hope to find into the Royal to bounce Falconer. Because my other removal spells are too expensive or I can't cast them at for life. Or I can just play Kicked Sentinel, Chum Block, and then next turn. Yeah, I guess I'll go for the uh, the safer bets of being able to survive at least. Don't have any good attacks. And then I can replay Sentinel to block Falconer the turn after. And then try to stabilize and take over with Plunder. So we got a chump. Ooh, Risen Riptide could be bad if they have more kicker cards, but we're kind of locked into replaying Sentinel. And then if they draw a kicker card, I'm pretty dead. That's a kicker card. Alright, GG's. Ooh, Ancient Green Warden. Haven't had the pleasure to play that one in Limited yet. But maybe this is like an incentive to move into the red-green deck, which you often don't end up in. is a nice one too. Have been able to combine this with the Horn Beetle, the one that makes all the tokens. That was pretty fun. Skyclave Shades also very good. And best rare in the sets. Don't know which rare I prefer to open pack one, pick one. I mean, maybe it's still Phil, just because it's an absolute bomb, although it is two colors. So maybe there's a rare you would prefer to open pack one, pick one. That's going to be it for me today. want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.